Financial advice couldn't be more important. It's Thursday. We are joined live by Steve Peasley, a registered investment advisor and president of KPP Financial in Dana Point. Good morning, Steve. Morning, guys. Welcome. How's it going? Good to see you. Hope you had a good week. So yeah. far, so good. Looking good. forward to the weekend. Uh, holiday Me weekend too. coming up. You know, a lot of people commonly worried right now about their 401ks, and they could see this uh, slowly depleting and going away. Yep. Should they be worried right now? Nope. No, I love it <laughs> when you say worry, it with such happy. force. Nope. Put more money in. Put more money in. It, we are we are average at a point. Down. Yeah, do you want to average in because as it goes down, mm -hmm. as it goes down, like if you're in a 401k, you're buying mutual funds. As it goes down, you're buying more shares at a lower cost. It's called dollar cost averaging. And as it goes down, you actually want to increase your participation. Okay. Now, how about but but it does vary depending on how old you are. Correct. Let's, let's take someone in their in their mid fifties. They're looking for retirement or mm -hmm. upper fifties. Looking for retirement within ten years. They too put more in. If you're in your mid fifties, it might be time to start. To you know, get a little bit more conservative. Start to maybe have some uh, assets that are more uh, less volatile. Let's put it that well, way. Well, let's look at uh, you talk about three basic kinds of portfolios. Yes. So let's let's mm -hmm. look at these three basic kinds, and you could tell us, uh, take us through these. We start okay. with the balanced portfolio. Let's talk with the balance. Balance means not uh, not being in fully in stocks. Okay. It means maybe having some bonds, maybe having some preferreds. Now those things don't move in conjunction with stocks. So bonds could go up in value and they consistently pay you money. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you're growing your money. It's a little less risky. Okay. Okay, so a balanced portfolio means stocks and bonds, other things that don't necessarily go up and down with the market. A absent a real economic malaise, your bonds will, your principal will be good. Will hold, it. exactly. Okay. That's why you want balance. Now, when you're talking about uh, diversified, mm -hmm. diversified is not necessarily meaning bonds. It means different stocks. Th never buy more than... I don't know, three, five percent of any one stock in your portfolio, and make sure you have it over different sectors so that if one sector really does poorly, maybe another sector does well. And so, if your retirement's in a 401k, almost every 401k manager is going to have you in 20, 30, 40 stocks, right? Of course, yes. Uh, some of them hundreds. Right. So it depends on what the mutual funds are offering you. Okay. Okay. Then the third one, of course, is, uh, is defensive. Defensive means you're really scared of the market mm -hmm. and you want to be defensive. There's certain stocks that are considered con defensive. This year, that hasn't worked, by the way. <laughs> you think? The defensive have been offensive. That's right. Yeah, they've been just like everything else. But a defensive stock would be like a Procter & Gamble. Sure. A we Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, have to we buy soap. Johnson Johnson, you need the shampoo and drugs. Right. You know, so those would be considered defensive and they won't go down as much. People buy those no matter what the, the economy is doing. But the economy is doing a lot better than people think. I've said that before on the show. And I agree. And uh, here we are. Did you see the revision of the GDP this morning? Well, the D GDP was positive to begin with. What This is the second revision. There'll be one more. One more. It was started at the second quarter is up 1.9 percent revised to over three percent growth in the second quarter which we I think we'd all agree would come as a surprise certainly when the headlines every day for instance yesterday we mm -hmm. were talking about every day here in Orange County we hear of a major retailer that's right names or bankrupt and, and of emergence. course the housing problem right. but did you notice that the housing reports that came out this week sales are up sales were uh, up. yeah yeah prices are still coming down and I think they will for it until next so year you're saying buy the home builders now those no. you can pick up cheap <laughs> not yet Yet. Not the financials, okay. not the home builders yet. Real quick, broaden the conversation. We're talking about your 401ks going down, but a lot of people, their savings, in addition to maybe uh, not in their uh, 401ks, they're in their home. Yes. And they've, had, they've been here for 20, 25 years. They've got 250, 300,000. They see that going down. They have to stay put, or is there a... What would, they probably should stay put. If you're getting older and you're approaching retirement, you have the option to reverse mortgages. But I think... Did you know that over 50% of the homes in the United States are have no mortgages on them? Really? They're paid off. Not they're here, Steve. <laughs> not in, in Southern Cedar California. Rapids, Iowa, yes. <laughs> yeah, not here. So you advise was... against a reverse mortgage. No, I do not. If you're at a certain age, that's a not the first option. That's probably the last option. Right. But it is an option if you're older, 70, 75, and you're house rich but cash poor. Okay. Use that option. I think it's a valid option. A better option than, say, panic selling and becoming that's a right. renter. That's okay. right. Steve Peasley, as always, it's a pleasure. Uh, the president of KPP Financial out of Dana Point. Check out his website. It's investtalk.com, and he will be back next Thursday. If you have a question for Steve, please email it to us, our address, news at KDOC.